So you just come and step up onto the table, make sure not to hit your head on the upright poles as you get up. Um, you're stepping close to the frame. You could technically also be on the other side, just make sure that the top slider bar is not in the way. Um, and I'm placing my toes against the upright poles, whichever toe is comfortable for you. For me, it's maybe the second one, or between the second and big toe. And I'm coming really, really close, so my nose is almost touching the pole here, um, or the frame, and my shoulder, I place my hands against the upright poles just below shoulder height. That seems to be the most comfortable. All right, I'm starting to just uh, let my hips sink down while I'm straightening my, my arms. So now I'm in this V position, right? From here, I'm gonna start to articulate through my spine. So I'm curling my tailbone under, sending the tailbone towards the heels or through the heels as I'm rolling through the spine until I'm in a diagonal. A controlled diagonal where I'm not hanging in my shoulders, I'm not protracting, not elevating. I uh, pull down from the underarms, my suspenders are connected, ribs to hips. Perfect. From there, I'm gonna continue to go into thoracic extension. So I'm reaching my chest up towards the ceiling, pulling my shoulders even further down, starting to look up to the ceiling, maybe even back. From there, I'm pulling myself forward until I'm upright except for my thoracic spine. I'm still looking up. And then I'm returning to um, a natural upright standing position. So again, I'm dropping my hips down, straightening my arms. There's no articulation in the spine in this part. Okay, so here is where the articulation starts. Until I'm in a diagonal with my chest nice and wide. I'm not pushing my hips forward but I'm going up and back with my upper back, pulling forward, and then bring your upper spine back into the straight upright position. One last time. Straighten your arms, drop your hips down. Roll through the spine. Fix the shoulder. Pull the pubic bone up to the navel to give a little bit of uh, pelvic floor activity here. Reach up and back. Pull yourself forward, and come back to upright. No, I'm gonna...